everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this happy birthday shaker topper using my cricut this is my first video so i hope you enjoy let's get to it just to give you a heads up this is probably going to be the most amateur video you've ever seen on youtube so to get started in my design space i selected new project and went to my shapes to get the shape that i needed all my other parts have already been uploaded, so it's just to put them together and get this top of the After adjusting the sizing all the words and welding them together, I proceeded to do an offset background to help with the stacking of the words. For some reason, my background came out white. I'm not sure why. It's supposed to be black, but later on you'll see where I actually got it, the color that I needed it to be. And everything just flowed naturally from there. seeing where I was getting the problem with changing the background color for my offset piece I was doing everything possible and nothing was changing from white to gray to pink nothing so I just decided to continue working out with how I wanted everything positioned and eventually figuring it out <music> This is a shaker topper. To create my inner circle, I duplicated the big circle, downsized it, and centered it. Using a splicing method, I was able to get a, an accurate size of what my inner piece would be. Most people use foam. I personally use chipboard because it's a bit more sturdier for me and I get the height that I want for my inner piece to allow my sequins and glitters to shake well to move around <laughs> so at this point here i could have simply just duplicate the white inner circle because the pink that I'm making is just the outer part that the hexagon frame was going to go on. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me to just duplicate it instead of going through the process of creating a whole new circle. At this point, my machine is loading and I am selecting the material that is going to be used so that it can be cut accurately. Once all those pieces are cut, I save my design and I move ahead to cut out the leaves as well as the roll designs and the butterflies, which will be the add-on to the front of the top row. pieces are cut and ready to be assembled. 
Off camera, I had my acetate sheet and chipboard cut to the required size, so now it's just to take my glue gun and put everything together. Now that my chipboard is stuck to the back piece of my topper, I am adding some sequins in the colors of silver, rose gold and metallic pink. Also I am including silver glitter dust and some white iridescent pearls. Once the acetate is stuck on, I then add my pink border, which is then followed by the gold hexagon border. Moving along with the happy birthday mommy sign, I played around a little bit with how I wanted it positioned, eventually settling on putting it in the middle. to mention that I had cut out some spirals that I was going to be using to create my rural flowers. Doing a quick shake test to make sure everything stays in, I then went ahead and stuck the two skewers to the back. And finally, to mask the skewers, I used a small circle to cover them up.
give it one final shake just to make sure nothing comes out and there you have it our birthday shaker topper thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe to my channel bye